Hey, good morning guys. So we are here waiting for us to go in to get some breakfast. It is Friday and we have a busy day today because it is the day of the kids dentist appointment. So we are very bad. I didn't even realize it's been almost two years since Christian had his um, last dental cleaning or any kind of dental appointment. Um, one of the reasons is because it is kind of hard, pretty hard and he's getting bigger. So we probably kind of avoided it a bit, but we are going now and Christian is seven. He is a very big boy, huh, Christian? So I am bringing the big guy over here as my backup or my, my main guy because I can't handle it anymore. I know that he's gonna put up a fight even though he doesn't want to because it's a scary place. It's, you know, laying down, head back, open your mouth, all the stuff. So um, hopefully it doesn't go horrible. Um, I know, do you think he's gonna have many cavities? No. No? Mm -mm. I, I think he's gonna... Uh, All cavities? No. <laughs> Help me! Help! Baby. Christian, make a sound if you want to get out of there. <laughs> Cause see, like a cat <laughs> trapped in the cage. Yeah. Oh, it's our turn! He's looking at all the people getting their food. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. I'm sure it's coming, Christian. We ordered fast. It's okay. Yeah. All right, Christian, we're gonna go get our teeth checked out, okay? Go with Papi, Christian. Do you need to pee? I don't know. I need to ask them. It says one family member per family. I don't know. I just text Hugo, how did it go? And he said bad. So we'll see what he says when he comes out here. It kind of sucks. I wish I could have helped him in there, but we'll see what he says. It's many hours after that dentist appointment. As you guys saw, I wasn't able to go in there with him because of COVID regulations, only one parent per family. I asked Hugo to go in there with him because since he was little, he's never loved the dentist. We've always kind of had to hold him down, um, just like by having ourselves next to him, holding his arms down, putting, you know, reassuring him and letting him know that things are fine, but he's never liked it. And as he's gotten older, it's gotten harder, of course. Last time he went was when he was five, I believe. It's been two years and he has gotten a lot bigger since then. So we were definitely concerned about his strength hugo was there with him and apparently he was not having it he was yelling he was kicking he was um crying and this was when hugo was holding him he was um holding his arms and just kind of reassuring him and trying to get them to be able to do the fluoride cleaning um he didn't have any cavities Haiti didn't have any cavities either but he does have a lot of buildup because you guys know the struggle of brushing teeth with christian it's very very still very much an issue we can brush his teeth and he allows it but just to get in there and to get in these middle parts is hard he does have buildup so they had to do like the dental cleaning where they kind of scrape it and i guess he was like i said not having it kicking screaming and at that point the dentist said they could do the 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 wrist straps i guess restraints and i didn't know that that, that was even an option like if i would have known i would have told hugo from the beginning do not say yes we don't want that i feel like that is such a bad thing I, I, I know how traumatizing that can be. I would I would have never said yes. Hugo was in like a situation where he was already so overwhelmed and Christian was like going crazy. He just thought, why not try it? And as soon as they did, apparently he was like freaking out more, of course, because who wants to be restrained? So I know that they had to stop pretty much pretty soon, I guess, because he was getting more worked up. So they didn't get much done. I feel like we do definitely need to discuss what our options are going to be moving forward because he is seven, getting stronger and... This is very traumatizing for him. The dentist visit is a very overstimulating, too much for him to handle. So I feel like our next plan would be to just sedate him for any extra work because he's just not comfortable there and we can't keep restraining him. It's too much for him. Even with ourselves, like we can't keep holding him down. He's so strong and it's too much. So I think we're going to go for a sedation next time. 
Oh, it just sucked. All day I've been feeling horrible about it. I think I get worked up thinking about it because in the autism community, you hear a lot about restraints and public school and like the horrors. And anytime I hear the word restraint, it's like, <gasps> I just feel like, what is the future going to look like? Like, it, this is going to be a thing. And like, I never, now I know, like, I never, I, I need to be adamant about those things. Like, no, no, no. I don't know. It was just like a trigger for me today. I don't know why I'm so emotional, but I was like, dang, like, we're going to for sure think about a plan next time. Let me know if you guys have older kids that are big, like Christian, let me know what you guys do because... This one felt icky. This one did not feel good. Like, obviously, dentist visits are hard, but it was never this icky. Like, it just I just have a nasty feeling in my head. Like, oh. Like I said, please let me know if you guys have any tips because I know I could do visuals and I could prep them and all that, but it's always been very hard for him. And it's, I think it's always going to be because he doesn't want to open his mouth. It's hard for him to sit still and people in his face. It just sounds awful. So I'm probably going to go with regardless, no matter what, just maybe putting him on, um, sedating him or whatever it's called but yeah that sucked <gasps> you found the banana stash you found the banana stash you sneaky boy <laughs> that's okay you can have the bananas not all of them but you can have it i love you you hanging out having a good time all right well let's say bye to our friends bye christian peace out <laughs>